I am sick again. Yay! Our house is absolutely trashed right now. Um, I've just been letting Drew run around and wreak havoc. He is almost two, so he is just like a hurricane now. But first, I'm gonna show y'all what is going on outside right now. I did not know it was going to snow today, but look. I just scared away a bird, but there was a bird. But look at all that snow. Those are some big flurries. But I will show y'all around the house. It is so messy right now. This is definitely disaster war zone. It looks horrible. But really, most of the mess is just on our floor from Drew getting into everything, as you can tell. But also, we did get a baby gate, so he can't crawl up the stairs anymore. He started crawling up the stairs yesterday, so he went to Walmart and got a baby gate. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish brewing my tea, and then we are gonna get started cleaning. So for like eight days now, I have not been able to catch a break. <laughs> this might be TMI. I know that most of my audience is women, but I tried the birth control patch and it made me so, so sick. I could not keep food down. I was so tired. I could tell my mood had changed and what I think happened is just like the estrogen was too much for me. So I lasted eight days on that and then I took it off. I was like, I cannot do this anymore. And now of course I have a cold or either it's just me adjusting to the climates because I was just in Charleston, which is a humid client, climate, not client, a humid client. And now I'm back in Western North Carolina, which is much drier. So I don't know if it's just my sinuses getting used to it because that's where I feel this is just my sinuses and my throat. Not really in my head or anything so we'll see if it's a cold or just sinuses i'm hoping it's just my allergies but we shall see but i'm still gonna go ahead and clean this house because it is an absolute hot mess as you saw it's just like when i was suffering the side effects of that patch i had absolutely no motivation and I did not feel like myself at all, so our house really suffered, so today we are going to take care of that. I hope my voice doesn't annoy you too much. It's eight o'clock at night and this is when I have to do my voiceovers because Drew's asleep. Otherwise, you will hear him running around in the background. But I am drinking another cup of that coat throat with some lemon and honey. It always makes my throat feel better and just makes it easier to talk. So hopefully I don't sound too annoying. So it's been like 15 or 20 minutes and look how much snow has come down. It was not supposed to snow today. I'm supposed to have a grocery order coming, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that is not gonna happen today. You're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love, what is love? I was so surprised my grocery order actually did end up getting delivered. I made sure to tip them very well because it was still snowing when it came. The last time I tried to do a Walmart delivery order, they ended up delivering the next day. I don't know why, so I didn't really trust the Walmart delivery. So usually I just go and pick it up, but since I wasn't feeling well today, I was like, I do not want to drive. 
So yeah, this snowstorm was a big surprise, I think, for everyone here where I live. My husband came home early from work because of the snow. But yeah, today was just a crazy day. This was the first time that Drew has really seen some snow. And I was afraid that he wasn't going to be able to see snow this year because usually it has snowed by now. Usually it snows at least once in December. I've been in this area for, I think, I know at least seven years, maybe eight now. So yeah, I was really concerned that Drew is not going to see any snow this year. But hopefully we will end up getting another good snow. At least like three or four inches would be nice so we can go sledding with him. I think that would be so much fun. When I was cleaning my house today, I was just doing it area by area and I was doing the floors as I went. It was just so messy that I was so overwhelmed when I started and I knew I had to do it in small sections or else I would just be too overwhelmed and probably end up just giving up and quitting. I don't know if you feel the same way when you clean your house, but like after you've been sick and don't feel well, if like even if you don't feel well for one day, your housekeeping is going to suffer if you take a break, especially like if you have kids or a toddler like I do. We call him a hurricane. I'm actually thinking of having his birthday party theme be Category 2 Hurricane Drew because he is turning 2. It's either going to be too doggone cute or the hurricane theme. I don't know. I can't make up my mind, but I really need to make up my mind because his birthday is in less than a month now. I guess it wasn't meant to be. My next video will be decorating for Valentine's Day. I can't believe I don't have my decorations up yet, but I have purchased them. When I was in Charleston, I was able to go to a couple stores there and have some me time and get some shopping done without Drew because Drew is just at that crazy toddler stage where you take him out and he really doesn't want to sit in a shopping cart. He would much rather be running around. And then if you take him into a place like TJ Maxx or Marshalls that has clothing racks, he's trying to like grab onto the clothes as you're driving by them. So yeah, he's just a little bit wild. So I really enjoy my me time when I am able to go and shop by myself. But he did get into my Valentine's decorations and broke one thing. Uh, I wasn't watching him close enough and he ended up just throwing it and it was a little glass container and it broke but it's okay it's replaceable it wasn't a big deal and he didn't get hurt so it's okay I think this is like the third time I've mentioned it, but this Mrs. Myers mint spray is absolutely amazing. It smells so good. It is so refreshing. 
I don't really think it smells like I was expecting it to smell like peppermint, but it doesn't smell like peppermint. It's like more of a sweet mint and it's a faint smell. It's not overpowering. It won't give you a headache. So I definitely am going to have to go ahead and buy another bottle of this because I've used about half of it already. It is a pretty small bottle, but I also want to get some of the hand soap to keep by our kitchen sink. And speaking of the kitchen sink, when I'm doing this voiceover and I was watching myself do like the dishes, I was like, ugh. The one thing that I forgot to put on our Walmart pickup order was detergent pods. So thankfully, Bill is about to go to the store and get some of those for me or else I won't be able to run our dishwasher tonight. This area had so many crumbs on it because right now Drew is going through a cracker phase. He absolutely loves crackers. He loves like the round Ritz crackers and he also loves just like the traditional club crackers. So he just makes an absolute mess with them. And then there's crumbs all in our carpet as well. But right now he is surviving off of pizza and crackers. Those are his favorite things. And then of course fruit, he loves fresh fruit as well. I also have to get Bill to pick up some strawberries from the store because I did do strawberries in our Walmart delivery order, but they sent me like the mushiest dripping strawberries. Like they were just rotting already and they were just sticky and like there were like the container was half full so I just went ahead and threw them away and he can pick some out at the store for Mr. Drew. Our couch has gotten so disgusting. There are so many stains on it now. I really need to get one of those steam cleaners. I'm going to go ahead and order one off of Amazon soon. I'm thinking I'm going to try and get one that works for carpet as well as like has an attachment that you can use for the couch. Because I know there's like that little Bissell green machine or whatever that's good for the couch. But this shag rug needs some love too. There's probably so many like deep embedded crumbs in it. When I got this rug, I was thinking, oh, we're gonna have a baby. We want like soft and plush for when he's learning to crawl. I didn't think ahead to when he's gonna be like eating and walking around and drinking and there's gonna be like bottles getting spilled on this carpet as well as snacks being eaten on this carpet and it's just it's a hot mess now so our next carpet definitely is not going to be thick and plush like this one Toxic. 
So this stain appeared yesterday. I think it's just from one of Drew's bottles. I think he just put his bottle on the couch and left it there and it leaked. This cushion has taken a beating. He recently rubbed lip liner on it, but I was able to get it off. And he used the Resolve stain remover spray and then I just use a scrub daddy sponge and just scrub it really well and then I make sure to get as much moisture out as I can. If I have to use a ton of the Resolve spray, I will go ahead and use a blow dryer until the spot is dry as well. It's not about Our floors feel so much better ever since I started using this O-Cedar mop. I can tell such a difference when I'm using this traditional style mop instead of like mop pads. I think this just gets so much more up and they just look so much better and they also feel so much better. Our socks aren't changing color anymore, which of course is a good thing. But I hope you have enjoyed this snowy clean with me. This was an unexpected snow day clean with me. Uh, I hope you are staying warm out there and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching and cleaning along with me today. I will see you in the next video.